Well, we've been talking about Tim Richmond running third. Something's up with that <laughs> roof number. What is wrong in that picture? Well, it's an all-volunteer crew, and they probably didn't realize that the number is actually supposed to face to the inside, and they put the number on backwards. And I think they got by with it all week. You noticed it. They told yes. you, please don't mention it till the end of the race because we don't want to get black flag for the 27. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man, oh, that is devastating. Man. Such a good car for him. Such a good day going was third, right as we start talking about him. You know, we talk about them having enough fuel, but the problem is you got to make sure you can get every ounce out of that fuel. Make sure the pickup's in the right place. You have an all-volunteer crew. You, ne you never know if maybe that pickup has moved a little bit. Maybe there's a, get lot of full. Things, there's a sure. lot of things that could happen, but what a horrible break. But nonetheless, what a great job Tim Richmond and his team did here. Yeah, he they showed that they, that they deserve to be here, Absolutely. and that, that was super cool. And, and going back to his roof number, I've painted some of my own cars on iRacing. I've made the same mistake. So. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't see things like that. Let's listen to the 29. Reach down hard, get what we can get here. It's going to be green and white together here. It's going to be like a nice fight in the phone booth here. We're going to have to be heads up and do what you can do here. And that's Sean Cor running fourth right now. Sean's good at this racetrack. He's has three top fives in his career here. What did he say? Nice and calm like a phone booth? Yeah. A knife <laughs> fight in a phone booth. <laughs> <laughs> There's Tony right on his rear bumper. She's ready to go here. Yeah, push, Tony, push. So do the Venturini cars, do they do a, a teammate start right here? Or you oh, just race know. it out? I think they're going to do the teammate start since Corey took the top, but be interesting. Shannon Rush right there, crew chief for Corey Heim. Corey Heim on the outside. Green and white in the air. Final lap. Sean Cor trying to shove his way down to the inside. Couldn't quite do it. We had some contact in the front there. There's Daniel Dye moving by Sean Cor. There's Tony being pushed by Drew Dollar. She's trying to keep it locked on that yellow line, staying on the bottom, staying in line. Tony Breidinger right now in the fourth oh. spot. And there's contact. Drew Dollar hard into the wall. I think her and Tony got together there. Big hit for Drew Dollar. We're going to race this one out, it looks like. Caution is not out yet. It's so far away to the backstretch. Here he comes. It's been his day. He has absolutely dominated. Corey Heim does it at Daytona. It's absolutely dominated today from the, from the very get-go. What a perfect day for that 19-year-old from Marietta, Georgia. Good to see that window net down. Yeah. That, was a, that was a rough hit there. Yeah, that straight away. Absolutely head on. Drew Dollar quiet all day. Huge hit on the final lap. Now, guys, he's got to put himself together, jump in that Xfinity car coming up right after this. What a dominating performance. So as you mentioned, Chase, led 74 of our 80 laps. Just Shannon another. Rush just pumping his fist. What a day for them. What another day. Just an amazing day for entering the motorsports. They just show time after time again how good they are at Daytona and these plate races. See what happened here on the final lap with the 18 and the 25. He's helping Tony there. Looks like he's he's giving her a really good push. Maybe just got off centered a little bit. Yeah, just got off centered, and then when she checked up, came back up into him, and it and it turned him obviously in the wrong direction. Luckily, how, didn't get hit by anybody yeah, else. How that, that really didn't bad. collect another car yep, is unbelievable. Absolutely. We've had a lot of heads up driving all day long. Another good save by Tony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she could own the sweet moves of the race. All of them. All, I was going to say, all three of them. All three. Uh, yeah, all three uh, possibilities. I, I think it's a Tony. USAC background, the open wheel. Yeah. I, I, I think that's where it all came from. There he is, your race winner. Venturini Motorsports in their 40th year of competition. They there were was, so dominant There was here. a lot of action, but it was all behind Corey Heim. He didn't see any of it. Because he, he was leading this thing just about the whole time. There's that beautiful drone shot. 
Very good with the flag. Five in a row for Venturini Motorsports here. You know what he gets in victory lane besides a trophy? It's the big kiss from Bill. Yes, sir. Bill Venturini talked to him yesterday, cancer free. That's awesome. Living yeah. his best life back at the racetrack, and now he gets to go to victory lane once again. And three cars in the top five. Remember Stellar. how much damage Gus Dean had? Came back to a fifth place finish. Oh, wow. And Parker Chase, the IMSA driver. Just perfect solid, today. Solid, absolutely. Second from start to finish of this race. Even had a little scare there. Fuel pressure went down. Great crowd on hand for this Arkham and Art Series race today here at Daytona. Look at that. What a great shot. Hopefully it doesn't tear the grass up. I don't think they'd like that too much here. <laughs> it's pretty grass. It is. It is pretty neat. Corey Heim flying that Venturini flag. We'll see him in a lot of truck series races for Kyle Busch Motorsports this year. Be sharing the truck with Kyle Busch. No pressure there. No pressure <laughs> at all. There's Goat, my cameraman for all the races, getting all the action. What a nice job. But a lot of that's good equipment too. Absolutely, but it still takes execution, right? And, and Venturini does it year after year. They just show that, that they work together. And, and like I said earlier, you see the cup teams do it, and there's a reason we do it now. What time is it? I think he was pointing <laughs> to his watch. What time is it? Heim time. That's the most laps led by an Arca winner since 2006. Bobby Gerhardt. Denise Engel, the flagger, gives him his checkered flag to take home. And Corey was three years old, by the way, when that happened in 2006. <laughs> you just had to throw that in there. <laughs> that makes Kids me feel out old. here. <laughs> that flag in there. Look at that drone shot. Just beautiful. Look at the sky. How about the crowd we had here today? We mm. know it's sold out tomorrow for the Daytona 500. It'll be super cool, but always cool whenever you come to Daytona for whatever series it is. That looks like Kate's down there with our winner. Corey Heim coming to Daytona, growing up as a birthday gift from his dad, and now he's a two-time winner at Daytona. Corey, you led 74 laps. How did you stay focused that race? Yeah, I mean, my team made it easy on me, you know, we're building this really fast custom tools Camry and, uh, you know, I had great teammates help me all through the way. So, um, yeah, first race for Crescent. That's awesome. We got him straight in victory lane, so I uh, couldn't be happier. You really helped Venturini Motorsports out with five in a row. How important was that team chemistry, especially as we talked all week long, that that was what was going to be the, the trick? Yeah, Venturini Motorsports, most organized team out here, obviously. And, um, you know, Toyota Racing's helped me get here. Um, Crescent Tools, as I mentioned before, just everybody's really just all put together for this race, and it worked out. I'd say it worked out for Corey Heim after last night's truck race, coming home to victory lane here for Venturini Motorsports. Congratulations, Corey Heim. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.